Good morning guys, out today, back out with Dumbarton Foreshore to see what else we can find today. Uh, well I've just come out, uh, two minutes, I've got my first signal and here it is. It's uh, a George III, it's a sixpence and it's uh, silver but it's in pretty rough condition due to being in the water for so long. Uh, we find there's quite a lot of stuff washing in uh, but that's nice, it's a nice first set, George III. Hopefully there'll be quite a few more. Because uh, I think quite a lot of stuff's been washing in with the recent storms. Right, guys, just dug it. Here we go. Second hit. It's an infield bullet. That's cool. Uh, there should be quite a lot of bullets, hopefully, washed in because they're quite far in. And uh, they're coming out, so hopefully they'll be washing in. So hopefully, as we make my way out, we should come into a nice patch of them. Right, guys, go to do a live dig here. It's got an 86, I think it's a musket ball. Uh, let's find out. Here we go, we've got a bullet. It's one of the bullets that I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it's a bullet that's been made by some mould. Yeah, it's got the same cast for this type of bullet. It's like a musket ball but pointed. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, see if I can find out what that is for you so, yeah, and we'll let you know in the roundup. Right guys, just dug it, there you go, another musket ball just came out, that's nice. Uh, this is a bit of a sand trap here, just at this point right here. It's uh, a bit of a sand trap, it seems to trap a lot of things, it seems to find it off. Basically every time I come here, you see me find an awful lot of bullets. Uh, sometimes there's even coins uh, trapped within the sand, so I'm just going to go around this area and uh, see what I can find. I'm pretty sure there'll be quite a lot of bullets here because it seems to be a bit of a sand trap where a lot of bullets get stuck. I've even found coins for George III here, so fingers crossed uh, there'll be a lot more to find. Right guys, I just got a really faint signal, I've dug a bit of it out. Somewhere in there, there's something. So uh, let's find out where it is. Maybe a bullet or a coin or something. <laughs> Here we go, musket ball, big musket ball hiding in there, that gave off a really faint signal as well, uh, I really did think that would have been a coin, but it's a musket ball, that's cool, another one of the collection. Right guys, going to do another live dig just here, 8485, uh, I think it'll be a bullet, uh, not too sure, let's find out. <coughs> Here we go, just found a big bullet. Not an Enfield, it's one of the bigger ones, uh, not sure where that one is. That's cool, that's nice. Uh, as I said, this is a bullet trap, so I'll expect quite a lot more to come out. There we go guys, just dug it, there we go. It's again, it's another musket ball. Fantastic. Right, moving on. Right guys, again another faint signal, another musket ball, that's cool, that's nice. Uh, the signals are quite hard to pick out today. I don't know why that is, uh, they're very very faint and they're not very deep, they're like about 2 or 3 inches deep. And uh, they're very very hard to pick out, but I suppose that's what it's in for you, isn't it really? Uh, it, it, it just it can be hard to get the signals. I can see why people say your best to use earphones with the doos <coughs> because if you're not listening for these faint signals then you're going to miss them. That's cool, that's another musket ball. Right 
right guys, to give you an idea of how these faint signals sound, here it is. I'm going to mark it and I'm going to dig it and we'll see what we get. I think it'll be a bullet. Something down there. So uh, let's find out. There we go, big musket ball. As I said to you, it's very hard to pick out the signals. Uh, I mean, it's not, they're not very deep down, but they seem to be dead hard to pick out for some reason. That's a bit bigger than normal for a musket ball. Uh, I don't know why that is, but there you go, that was just a wee example of how faint the signal was for that. Right, moving on, catches on the next hit. Right guys, just dug it, there you go. Uh, free ringer smashed up unfortunately. That's another nice find, it's a free ringer. Smashed up. Still a nice find. Right guys, just dug it, there you go. Bit of bomb shrapnel. That's cool. Seem to find a lot of it on here. But that's nice. A nice bit of World War II history. Bomb shrapnel. Right guys, there you go, set coin. <coughs> uh, it's just come out, it's a 20 pence. You can if you want to this for show without finding a 20 pence for some reason. That's uh, quite recently dropped. You can still see a bit of the silver on it. But, uh, yeah, it's 20 pence. <laughs> still spendable. Woohoo! Here we go guys. Half a musket ball, uh, one of the bigger ones. That's cool, it's another nice find. Uh, it's obviously had a target. We, we do know there's a target about here because I found hundreds and hundreds of bullets in the past here, so uh, fingers crossed there'll be more. Just dug it, it's another musket ball. Woohoo! Right guys, just dug it, I think it's another coin. Uh, let's find out what it is. Give it a wee clean the water. Lovely, Queen Victoria. Half penny I think it is. 1884 Queen Victoria half penny. That's the best condition I've ever seen one of these come out. <laughs> They're normally green or, or brown, but uh, this one's still quite a wee bit shiny, but it's just because it's been in the water. But uh, what will happen was, is, uh, see as soon as it dries off, it'll find its natural colour again. I thought that was silver, but it's not, it's just a half penny. That's cool. Another cracking wee find. Basically I'm just working my way up to the water which is right there along this pipe because there seems to be stuff getting trapped in here. So until the tide comes in, it's practically nearly met me just over there. Uh, probably about the next half hour I'm just going to work this wee strip here and uh, see what I can find. Right guys, just dug it, there you go, full bullet. Well it's a shell casing. That's cool. Uh, That's another nice wee find. Just working this pipe again and it's it just it seems to be happening for me. But uh, it always seems to happen just when the tide's meeting you. Which is a shame. Right guys, just dug it, there you go, it's another coin. Uh, the water's coming in really fast so I'm going to have to dig fast here. Half penny. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, I'll let you know in the roundup because the water's about to come over my machine. Uh, it's just coming in really, really fast now, so uh, I'll let you know what it is in the roundup. Right, guys, that coin I think is uh, Queen Victoria. Uh, half penny, I think it is. I don't know if it's a widowhead. 1901, it is a widowhead Victoria. 
Not a nice we find. Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt. It's been a nice wee hunt, plenty of bullets and a couple of coins. Uh, I'll do a round up in the car and uh, I'll show you all the fine. Right, catch you then, good luck, happy hunting and I'll see you on the round up. Bye for now. Good morning guys, welcome to the round up. This is the round up for Dumbarton Castle foreshore hunt. Uh, going to show you what we found. Uh, we've got the musket balls, of course we've got a musket ball that's slightly bigger than the rest. Uh, which is a slightly bigger caliber musket ball, which is half in two, which is a shame because I've only ever found two of them there. That's a third, and I only know of one other person that's found one that big. I don't know if anybody else has. Uh, we've got the Enfields, we've got a mystery bullet, of course, I don't know what this one is, but I think it's a mold uh, made from uh, a musket ball or something that's just been made to fire me, about a musket or something. I'm not sure if anybody knows what type of bullet that is or when they were made, they, could they let me know? It would be great answers on a postcard. Uh, here we've got bomb shrapnel and some junk has come out. We've got fired blank round, uh, rivets, smashed bullets, bits of lead. Uh, we've got two free ringers here, both smashed up, which is a shame because they're nice bullets. We'll start with the coins, and this one here is a. Uh, George of Fudd. He is quite hard to see now. As I say, they find a natural colour again. But that is a George the Fudd. Sixpence. And that is actually silver. And you would never believe it. Looking at it. Which is a shame. <coughs> it's just so far gone and I'm, I don't really want to clean it. Because I think if I clean it, I'm going to ruin it. So I'm going to specialise in cleaning it, and I've got two Victoria half pennies, which are nice. This one is a widow head. They're very hard to see because, uh, as you'll see in the film before, they they come out very nice and shiny, but they do go back to their original colour. That's cool. Also get a twenty pence when you bed in Barton for sure. Hunt me to a twenty pence. Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt. Right, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you on the next hunt. Bye for now.